and welcome back to Sunny Community Skirmish number 147. This will be our third match on Duel at Dawn. Start with the loadouts on the red team. You have the Wretched Egg, it's a Goldfish, flown by Grasso Guras, Watch out front, Galleon Carinade on the sides. Chip number two is the St. Glass Region Kiss, flown by Mighty Kev. It's got Artemis Gatling in front, with the Banshee and Flare Gun on the side. Ship number three, the Fairy Moth. It's a squid piloted by Merwin. It's Artemis front, Gatling on the side, Mortar on the rear. The Narwhal is ship number four. It's a goldfish flown by Scrobeard. Captain Scoreboard, should I say. Uh, watch the front. Carried Gatling on the sides. So here we have as close to a mirror match as we can get. We've got uh, two watch fishes, both with Gatling Carinade on the side. We've got a Pyramidium with Gatart. And you've got a squid with Arc Gat. So time will show whether or not the extra mobility of the squid is going to lend itself to a victory, or if the tankiness of the Pyramidian, the St. Class Regions Kiss, is going to lend itself to victory. Uh, my prediction is that the Pyramidian was... I, I hate myself for saying this because I hate Pyramidians, but the hitboxes on the front of the ship are janky as all get out. So disabling these front two guns is going to be difficult, especially when you're on a, a fast-moving squid having to deal with the lead of the Artemis is going to be very hard to disable those front guns. And not to mention, uh, the Pyramidian's going to be a lot tankier. Its uh, lack of mobility is made up for the fact, made up for by the fact that <laughs> its armor is not going to go down as soon as you look at it. Funny. So the Fairy Moth loses about eh, a quarter of its perma. It's not so bad. He could still come back from this. His armor drops again. Takes an Artemis. Amongst other things. Brings him down to about a, about a third of his full perma. Gatling's still coming out. This Fairy Moth just completely failing to duck, di uh, duck the arcs of the, the Glass Region kiss. Uh, meanwhile... Glass region did kiss did take a little bit of a, a huacha, but it didn't slow him down much. Not, nothing was broken. Uh, Wretched Egg now dumping a huacha into the narwhal. Uh, it loses a small chunk of its perma. Another armor break on the fairy moth. And the squid goes down. Uh, a little bit of carinate action coming off the side of the Wretched Egg going to the balloon of the narwhal. He's going to have a hard time getting out of here. Watch goes in. That leads to mm, all of his guns being broken. Sam engines are not in too bad of shape. Um, but I still really doubt that he's getting out of here. Another Watcha. Armor break. A little bit of a ram going into the balloon. Uh, armor goes down again. Narwhal's down to about a quarter. Here's the Goomba, or curb stomp if you like. Sandwich between the Glaswegian Kiss and the Train leads to the Blue Goldfish going down, uh, and Red Team is up 2-0. Fairy Moth respawns. He's probably going to chill out, wait for his teammate to respawn. They're probably going to spawn right together while the Red Team, the uh, Glue Water Thralls, Comes around the corner, moving in towards Blue Spawn. Fairy Moth knows this. He's getting the hell out of Dodge. But the Watcher comes out from the Wretched Egg. Uh, there's a little bit of engine damage. Nothing breaks. That is going... No, no, we did have one one engine go down. And that's going to that's gonna slow him down quite a bit as he tries to duck and run. Uh, the Narwhal responds. He's putting a little bit of watch action into the Wretched Egg. 
Again, not much being broken here. Wretched Egg might wind up with a more effective solution. And not really. Nothing's really getting broken here. Just very, very repairable damage, but the Gatling off the side of the Wretched Egg brings down the Narwhal's hole. Uh, only scratch damage, though. Nothing really too major to talk about there. Uh, but while the squid is out of the fight here, the Swedish Kiss has come back around, breaking the armor of the Narwhal. Watch it goes in, down to about a quarter health on the part of the Narwhal. His everything is broken. Sends the balloon, but what is the balloon when you have nothing else? Fairy Moth trying to make the best of a bad situation here, but he's going to eat the Watcha, have his, uh, Engine's broken. Is everything broken? Ram from the Glaswegian's kiss is gonna bring him down. You can't dodge Pyro Ram without mobility. You can't have mobility without engines. You can't have engines when Hodge is on the other team. Take home listen. I should take a look at what kind of tools are being brought on that blue squid because that might give us an idea of what's going wrong here. You see he's bringing, he's bringing hydro, uh, kerosene, and phoenix claw. So he's bringing all engine tools while the engine, <laughs> while the other team is bringing disable weapons that will break said engine. So th this squid is just all kinds of not a squid. You know, if he had uh, a lot of balloon tools, he could really push the up and down uh, in, in order to duck the arcs of the uh, the watch and the the um, watch and the Artemis. And it's it his problem is confounded even further by the Artemis that he has to like hold still in order for you know that to do anything. Watch it going out on the Glaswegian's kiss, uh, courtesy of the Narwhal. Will it slow him down though? Artemis already coming back out from the Glaswegian kiss. Everything's broken on the Narwhal. Sands the balloon, but what does it matter? He's out in the open, just just eating it. Uh, Watch uh, is still down. Watch is back up. I believe he's going to have to reload it. Nope, nope. Pot, uh, rocket's coming out on the Glaswegian Kiss. Nothing disabled, though. Oh, and by the way, the squid died. Which I believe sends the uh, Glue Water Thralls to the finals. Where they will rematch uh, the Skyborn in a single elimination match. It's going to be one round. Whoever wins that match is going to take the win. I believe that is regardless of the round robin score, which uh, the Skyborn have a pretty strong foothold there. Uh, but the Water Thralls can still win this if they uh, if this if they win this next round. We'll see what happens.